Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Hostage Negotiator. This is a physical board game that I do own, but didn't feel like digging it out of my board game closet. Instead, I'm playing it on Tabletop Simulator. This is a free-to-download mod on the Steam Workshop, so if you like what you see here and you own Tabletop Simulator, then you can play it yourself. So what is Hostage Negotiator? Well, this is a single-player experience. Um, you can play co-op if you're willing to share dice, roll, and talk things out. Uh, but primarily, it's a solo experience. Um, you're going to um, either randomly or uh, on purpose choose one, um, one bad guy, one abductor. And you're trying to complete certain objectives before uh, the game ending condition. There's a couple of those. So let's just go ahead and show you around the table a little bit. Um, this particular mod uh, also includes some of the expansions to this game. Um, I've opted not to use those because I don't want to confuse myself. I haven't played this game in over two years. And I just did a 20 minute refresher. So I may get a roll wrong or two, but so it goes. So up here, um, a lot of this, um, the top row here is all stuff from the expansion. You can identify it via the little cards, or the cards that have the little red gun symbol on the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, some of these tarot cards, for example, have that. Uh, you can see all of these have little gun symbols on the bottom. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I'm not using those. Um, these are the... Uh, these are the cards that um, we're not using for this game. They come in the core set, but um, we're only going to use some of them in our gameplay. I've already set up the game. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to take 10 of these red terror cards. Uh, you're going to shuffle, or you're going to take all the, the terror cards, shuffle them up, and then you're going to deal 10, put them onto this space. And you're also going to take a gold terror card, which is a pivotal event. You're going to put that on the very bottom. So you should have 11 cards here. 10 red terror cards on top and then a gold one underneath that. If this deck runs out, game over. And this is where bad things happen all the time. I have yet to see any good cards out of that. Um, maybe I'm mistaken. Um, so that's, that's that here. Um, you're also going to choose one of the abductors. The game recommends, if this is your first time playing, that you pick Lija Ramon here. Starting demands one escape demand card. Um, I put that here. Um, what you're going to see in the upper right hand corner of this is all of the different abductors in the game. Um, and then again, I chose this lady here. She was originally up here among this pool. Um, so you're going to put her here in this spot. It's the abductor spot. And you're going to put the second in command underneath her so that if she were ever to be eliminated, you'll have to contend with the second in command. And they've got their own special rules that you have to follow. Um, each of these abductors has different starter starting conditions. Like, for example, one escape demand card. I'm going to I put that here. There are escape demand cards here. You're going to shuffle those up and you're going to put one here under the demand uh, column. This little four here indicates the starting threat. Um, your threat level is this wheel here. Uh, it goes from S all the way to K. And it mainly determines how many dice you roll whenever you're trying to resolve your cards. Um, you can see here two, three, four, five, and six, you roll two dice. On the K spot, you roll one. On the S and one spot, you roll three. The more dice you can roll, the better. If you are ever on the S spot and you go down, you stay where you are, but you save a hostage. If you are on the K space and you ever have to increase your threat level, you stay on the K space, but you end up having to kill a hostage. So um, the game is um, broken up over three phases. There's conversation phase where you play and resolve conversation cards. You start with six of these zero point cost cards and you'll be playing them during the conversation phase in order to try and earn these conversation points and to lower the threat level the conversation phase ends whenever you reach a condition like this let's say that i were to play a card and i roll dice and i don't get the result i wanted um, anytime you see a speech bubble with an x through it that means the conversation is over and you move on to the spend phase. The spend phase is where you can spend these conversation points 
in order to buy cards from the pool over here. There's a bunch of these cards. Um, bottom right hand corner of the card is the cost. Um, these are a one time use. So whenever you spend them, and in addition to your zero point cards, you're going to put them into the played discarded area. And then at the end of the round, you'll put them back into the buy pool. The zero point cards can be purchased for free on the next um, spend phase. Once you're done with that, there is the terror phase. This is where you draw and resolve a terror card and resolve its effects. You're going to continue doing this until you either win the game or you lose the game. Let's go ahead and look at the win and lose conditions. So according to this, you win if you complete all three objectives. No hostage pieces are left in the hostage pool. That is where they start. That's this hostage pool area here. Hostages are either going to be saved or they're going to be moved into the killed hostages section. Okay, so that's that's one of the conditions you need. The next, at least half of the hostages have been saved. The abductor has been captured or eliminated. Okay, lose conditions. If one of these is true, then you automatically lose. More than half of the hostages have been killed. The abductor escapes or you're unable to draw a terror card during the terror phase uh, when that terror deck runs out. So like I said, I haven't played this in years. Um, I may get one or two things wrong. Um, that stands to reason, but we're just going to have some fun with it. And if this sparks your interest a little bit, um, the game actually includes a manual that you can read. Um, and you can you know learn the game as you're playing or... You can familiarize yourself. I love it when developers go the extra mile of including the rulebook in with a mod like this. Um, Star Wars Armada, the game I haven't showed you yet, has that. And this game also has that. And again, this uh, particular version has an expansion that I'm not even using. Um, you can build your own terror deck as opposed to just randomly drawing 10. Um, so you can... You can look at this and then observe that if you want to. So let's go ahead and start playing. Um, the marker here starts at four per the abductor card here. We start with eight hostages in the hostage pool area. The escape demand starts face down and okay so we are on the conversation phase. So we're going to choose a card and we're going to play it. Um, I want to try and I guess reveal a demand. I'm going to go ahead and play this card here. Now, because my threat is currently on the four space, I roll two dice. So I'm going to go ahead and take two of these dice. Um, these dice, the way they work, um, they're going to be either... They're six-sided. There's three blanks. There's one with two cards on it. That counts as a failure, by the way. And then you've got a five and a six. The, the shield, police, shield icons, badges, whatever. Those are successes. Now, if you roll this... That's a failure. However, you can automatically just choose two of your cards that you have and discard them to make this count as a success. So if you really need that extra victory, that extra success, you can get rid of two of your cards that you have in order to do that. Hopefully I won't have to do that. But this is a tough game. More than likely, I'm going to get my butt handed to me, but we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and uh, roll these dice and see what kind of result I get. Okay, so I got a success and a two-card thing. This counts as a failure unless I do this. So I can take the one success and just earn a point, which I just may end up doing. Or I can turn in two cards and get two conversation points and reveal a, uh, a demand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the first one. I'm going to go up one conversation point like that, and I'm going to reveal a demand. Well, she's only got the one, which is the escape demand. Let's see what it is. Um, spend four conversation points to concede during any conversation. Um, so according to this, I can spend four conversation points. Got to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I can spend four conversation points to um, get one, one free hostage and um, I get an extra die on the next threat roll. However, my penalty for conceding, the abductor escapes at the end of the conversation. Whenever the abductor escapes, I lose. 
So if I ever were to use this, I'd have to hope that I win in that particular conversation. But at least we've revealed it. We know what the demand is. There are certain cards in the terror deck that will say, um, if you have any unrevealed demands, then more bad things will happen to you. So it's important that we reveal these demands. Okay, so that was one card that we played, and we got a success on that. Um, let's go ahead and play another card. Um, keep cool. Um, I guess we'll try that one. And we have two dice that we can roll, so we're going to go ahead and just take these two dice. We're going to roll them. And we got a success and another two-card thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take the one success and lower my threat by one. So this goes over to the three space. Okay, not too bad. Um, I don't want to do small talk because there's a chance that the conversation will end. Um, reveal a demand. I don't know if we need to do that, but I wouldn't mind earning more conversation points. I, I might want to do keep cool again. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take these dice. We're going to Roll, 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 roll. Shuffle. There we go. Okay. And two blanks. No. All right. So we lose one conversation point and that, that was bad. Okay. So we're down to zero again. All right. I guess it's time for some small talk. Um, or we can play what are your demands and try and earn. Let's do that. We'll try and earn those back if we can. Okay. So let's do... There are more blanks than... Okay, so we got a six and a... Okay, six and a four. We got a success. We're going to go ahead and keep the one success. And we'll just earn one conversation point again. Awesome. And... I guess we'll put that back there. And I guess it's time for some small talk. The conversation could end if we roll badly here. But um, we don't have much other choice. Now, we can opt to stop too. I'm just going to try and roll, 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 roll. One success in a blank. Okay, so we earned two conversation points in doing some small talk. All right, so we're up to three. Now, here's the thing. Let's see what we can afford with three points. There's just stay calm is worth two. Um, during the buy phase, your um, conversation points are reset to zero. So whatever you don't spend, you end up losing. So um, I want to make use of everything, if at all possible. Um, this is a one-point card here, so I could do a one and a two if I stop now. I can also buy a three-point card, Minor Extraction. If I'm successful in this, like super successful, I can rescue two hostages right away. If I can get one success, I rescue one, but um, the threat goes up by one, and if I fail completely, a hostage is killed and the conversation is immediately over. I'd rather try and reduce my threats. So if I were to end now, I'd probably take one of these cards and a reroll. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to save small talk maybe for a future, um, a future play. Okay. So that ends the conversation phase. Now we go into the spend phase. We're going to spend our points. We've got three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the what I meant was card. This allows me to... Reroll any one die, which is kind of useful in case of bad things happening. And this just stay calm. Um, now, this is tempting, too. This will earn me a lot of conversation points. But if I fail, the conversation's over. Even on one success, threat is raised. I want to try and lower threat, if at all possible, so I can just roll more dice inherently. Uh, it's risky, though. Um, but I'm hoping with that reroll, um, I'll be able to, you know... N negate some of that bad risk or that that bad luck okay so we've done that and now we're on to the terror phase this resets to zero and let's see what the first terror card is let's go ahead and move these dice out of the way we'll just put them up here all right um it is the situation is worsening plus one threat if any unrevealed threats uh, if any unrevealed demands which is these demands here. I've revealed them, so that's not the case. I would get an additional plus one threat. Um, so this is going to go back up to four. Okay, that wasn't too, too, too bad. All right, so now we're on to the conversation phase again. Play and resolve conversation cards. We're going to go ahead and, by the way, we're going to put these back over here into the into the market. 
All of these zero point cards are just kind of put into a pile here. And yeah, okay, good. I've only got three cards to play this time out. Um, I think we'll start with just stay calm. We're going to go ahead and roll two dice. Um, let's hope for the best. And okay, we are going to use our reroll. Play this after any threat to re-roll one die. All right, this, this could be bad. Okay, roll, roll, roll. Ugh, okay, so we got a blank. So the conversation ends plus one threat. We've lost these two cards, so we didn't make any headway with this, and we're, we're even worse off than what we were. So we're up to five conversations over. This game is rough. <laughs> this game is really rough. Okay, um, so now we can spend um to buy cards all of our zero point cards can come back to us for free even if it is negative we still get them for free so now we've got access to all these zero point cards again and uh now we're on to the terror phase let's see what the new one is minor demand food let's go ahead and put this into the minor demand area um okay this is concede during any conversation ignore one uh, game, uh, conversation ending bubble. The penalty for conceding, remove the associated conversation card from the game. So I can, let's say that I were to use this small talk card and I, and I failed it. I could, I could use that minor demand to ignore this and keep going, but I'd have to remove it from the game completely as opposed to discarding it. So that's kind of like a, a, a risk reward situation. All right. So we're back to, um, I guess we're back to this. Um, let's go ahead and conversation phase. Let's try and, um, I want a lower threat. Uh, I guess keep cool. Gonna roll, 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 roll. Okay, so if we fail, we lose a conversation point. Um, I could turn in two cards and get a success out of it and turn this down by one. I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one and actually reveal a demand. I'm going to get rid of both of my reveal of demands. I'm just going to do that. All right, that leaves these. That makes this into a success, and we lose one threat on our meter. We're back down to four. Okay, so next we've got, um, why don't we do keep cool again and try and lower that threat. We still have two dice that we're rolling. And it's a, two successes, yes. Okay, so we got a conversation point and a minus one threat. So we're going to go ahead, whoop, I just picked up everything there. I didn't mean to, I should really lock that. All right, so let's put everything back. My game is now... <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we have to move the cards first and put them back on top. <laughs> oh no! That's that's the that's the that's what I get for playing this on tabletop simulator. All of my pieces are now ruined. All right, let's put this up here temporarily. Let's move the dice out of the way. Let's move the cards out of the way. Um, that was the demand there. Um, Terror was on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and lock this, I think, just so it can't be moved again. All right. And I think we were on... Wow. Okay, so that didn't work either. So I have to select the entire thing. The cards don't come with it. That's really weird. Okay, so can we do something like this? No, because that'll bring... My knowledge of tabletop simulator is obviously showing right now. All right, let's let's move. Let's move this back to where it should be. All right, and then we'll move these terror cards there, and those there. Okay, now we want to move these over to the right a little bit. There we go. And I think this was down to four now. Right. Unless I miscalculated. And there, there's two yellow pawns somewhere. There they are. I obviously don't use this program a lot. Okay, so we're putting our abductor back. Okay, so we're back to normal. I believe I had this down to three, but I could be wrong. 
Um, no, what we did was um, we did not resolve this card yet. So we're going to get one point here, and we're going to move that there. Let's go ahead and lock. Can we lock this with L? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, God dang. All right, I just, I want to just move this. Okay. This is, uh, this is maddening. Sorry, technical snafu. This is old man time fiddling with technology has no business messing with. All right. Uh... It's eleven. It's ten forty-five at night. Never. Nothing could ever possibly go smoothly. Okay, lock. I'm hoping that that did the trick. Okay, it's locked. Okay. Did that. Did that. Done. Okay. And we use this card. Put it there. Okay. Next. Um, we've got all of our hostages. Good. Okay. Um, small talk or small talk. Hmm, I guess we'll do small talk. Let's go ahead and roll two dice. And, um, we, did we do this card too? I can't remember. Is that, oh, maybe we did that card already. Now I'm losing myself. You know what? Um, you know what? It's 1045. I'm just going to use it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Keith Cole. I'm not sure if we've used it already. All right, minus one. Okay, there, done. Now, small talk or small talk? We'll go ahead and do small talk. Roll dice. Two blanks. Okay, so that gives me plus one on this. However, that will end the conversation. So, that means that I can now spend the two that I have. The last time I tried doing Just Stay Calm, it failed miserably. Um... I wonder if there's anything I can take for two points. Uh, just a few more minutes would be nice, but that look at that threat increase. Until conversation ends, all double card okay is equal to a success. Next threat roll. Yeah, I, I still like this just stay calm. I'm confident that we can actually do something with it. So I'm gonna take that one. And that means that all of these go back. Um, I think there was a two in here somewhere, right? And a one. There's that one. There's the two. Okay. All right. And then this goes back to zero. And the terror phase. Okay. So we're going to reveal and flip and a moment of weakness. Oh, interesting. I've never seen that one. Okay. So... Sigh of relief. Uh, let's go and move on to the conversation phase. We've only got two cards, so I guess we'll do this one first. Just stay calm. Let's see how badly we screw this one up. Uh... Oh! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Gotta... Every time we make a little bit of headway. All right, so we increase this by one. Sorry, hostages. I don't think there's any hope for you this game. We're almost halfway through the terror deck, and I haven't saved one person. <sighs> okay, well, we didn't earn any... Oh, uh, threat goes up by one, too, right? We did that. Okay. And conversation's over. Spend phase. We get all of our zero cards back. Uh... Every time I'm like, that card, this time it's gonna work. It never does. Okay. So, um, we've got the zero cards back, terror phase, flip, let's see what happens. I'm getting angry, plus two. Okay, well, now we're back up to five. I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that we're never gonna get anywhere near the three dice mark. Alright, so, let's go ahead and play. Um, I guess, uh, actually, let's do keep cool. Try and lower that threat. And it's, okay, it's another one of these. We got to do it. Let's get rid of the reveal a demand, reveal it. Let's get rid of these. Um, is this from, yes, from the previous round. That should go back up here. Two. Okay. There we go. 
and we've played that one, and our threat goes down by one because we discarded two cards. Next, we've got Keep Cool. I guess we'll try that one. We'll shuffle, 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 shuffle. Eh, eh. And two blanks. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Small talk. Let's roll. Come on, successes. Oh. <laughs> well, I have to... I can't. I can't do anything because this is the card I played and I have no... I can't discard two cards. That counts as a failure. So I get plus one, which brings me back to zero, and the conversation ends. And I make no progress. Um, so, um, that's that. Um, the spend phase, there's no zero point cards to collect. Tear phase... Um, roll a die and add hostages to the pool as follows. Alright, let's, uh, roll, roll, roll. Blank. On a two, it's two hostages. So I have to take two hostages from the little cup over here. So not only did I not rescue anybody, <laughs> more people got captured. <laughs> Oh, this is not going well at all. Oh, this game. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move these back to the market. Um, I don't think there was any to... to yeah, okay. Um, so wait a minute. Now, we spent those that turn. Okay, so we only have the one card to spend this turn, which is sad. Um, small talk. Well, I guess we're just going to roll two dice and hope for the best. Uh... Nope. Of course not. Why would I get anything? I can discard two cards <laughs> to get a success, which I can't do. So that goes there. I get one point and the conversation's over. This is going to be the shortest game in history, folks. Um, okay, so converse we have one point to spend. Um, I think well, let's go ahead and buy back our zero point cards. Um, so we'll have five for the next turn. Okay, and we have one a one-point thing. We got to spend it or lose it, so we'll do that. Um, and that goes back down to zero. And a new terror card is, the situation is worsening. Plus one threat. If any unrevealed demands, plus one threat. Well, we've got the demands revealed, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, oh, this is getting pretty desperate now. All right, so we're back to the conversation phase again. Uh, there's only five cards left in the tarot deck, so we're halfway done with the game, and we didn't get anywhere. Um, let's use Keep Cool again. And success and a blank. Oh, so we get minus one threat. Back down to four. So that's good. We got something. Keep Cool again. And a six, six, oh, nice, success. We get minus one. We're down to three. All we're doing is keeping the status quo, but we're not actually getting anywhere. Um, small talk. Let's try and earn, you know, well, actually, what are your demands? No, we're going to keep the small talk one. Um, I want to try and earn some more. Nice, okay. So what I'm going to do is, um, do I want to spend cards to get... Uh, three points instead of two. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I'm going to keep the one success and earn two points. So we're there. Awesome. Um, I'm going to play what are your demands and try and earn one of those. Okay. Uh, um, plus one. I'm going to go ahead and re I'm going to go ahead and use this to reroll a die. Come on. I've... Uh, one in three chance, and of course, nope. So, plus one threat. There. Conversation's not over, though. I've got one card left. Um, let's just go ahead and try and get more. And no, of course not. Why would I, why would I succeed? Five. Okay, I'm out of cards to play. That brings me to the purchase phase. I've got um, a value of two. Forget that card. Um... I'm going to take just a few more minutes, and I'm going to try and earn more conversation points for the next time out. All right, so this goes back to zero, and terror card comes up. Looks like we're back to square one. Place the threat level marker back at the starting threat. 
Well, that actually helps me out. I'm surprised. Ignore this effect of second in command is in play. All right. Um, so we're back to the conversation phase. We're going to play our one and only card. We need two successes on this. We really do. And we have one success. We can't spend two cards. So that was plus one threat. But we get plus three conversation points. All right. So did I accidentally... Yeah, that, that shouldn't have been there. Just a few more minutes. What was that from here? Yeah. I grabbed all of them instead of just one. I got it. Okay, so um, with three conversation points, uh, what am I going to spend that on? Uh, minor extraction? Might as well go for broke at this point. Empty promise. Uh, can't do... Okay, let's do minor extraction and hope for three... Um, actually, you know what? These should have gone back to the market prior because I can buy them for my next turn. Okay, so that goes there. I spent my three points. Um, I'm also going to spend these for free and get these back. And I took one too many. All right. So let's go ahead and spread these out a bit. And nope, that one was not free. That was one point. Alrighty, um, so, <laughs> yay threat. Okay, um, let's see what it is. Your time is running out. Discard half of the remaining red terror cards round down, and then discard this card. Um, um, you may instead discard two red terror cards and shuffle this card back in. I don't like that. Um, I, round down. There's three cards left, so I don't have to get rid of one. So, discard. That, that leaves two left. Okay, so out of three, it says discard this card, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. That leaves two left. One of them is the golden one, which is like the last one for the end of the game. We didn't rescue one hostage. That we're, I'm a terrible hostage negotiator. Okay, so we've got to make this round count somehow. Um, let's go ahead and do... Huh. Minor extraction, go for broke. Um, if I roll those double cards, at least I can use that to discard two of these other cards, possibly. Or do I want to try and lower the threat to the point, like it's one, two, three. I'd have to lower the threat by four, which would be impossible. I'm like, I'd have, I'm trying to roll three dice and it's not going to happen. All right, going for broke. Minor extraction, here we go. We're going to roll... Give me something good. Yes! Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to discard four cards to rescue two hostages. Um, it, if, even if I lose, I can say that I rescued somebody. So we're going to get rid of these. There. Okay, so let's get those. That's two cards. And then two more cards. It's small talk and keep cool, I guess. Or do I want to... Get rid of my keep cool, because I'll never get those. All right, yeah, let's just let's get rid of those. I'm, I need those those conversation points. All right, so I discarded four cards to um, complete two successes on this, and that means that two have been saved. I must save at least half of the hostages. At this point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need five saved hostages in order to fulfill that objective, but in addition to that... I also have to capture or eliminate the abductor and have no hostage pieces left in the pool. So that's going to be fun. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and do some small talk, try and get some conversation points. And, ooh, okay. Well, we can't discard anything, but we got one success. So that's two. There. And we're going to play our last one. And it's a success. That's another two points. Why couldn't I roll this before? All right. So I'm out of cards, but I have four points to spend. What would I spend it on? Um, Let's see. A bold lie. Minus three threat. But that's if I roll two successes. If I fail, it's plus three. <laughs> Not going to happen. Uh, I might try another minor extraction and a reroll card. Um, 
I can do two twos. Like I could do, like at this point, I'm going to have to accept the fact that I'll never be able to roll three dice in this game ever. <sighs> Conversation, that threat would go up. Oof, 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 oof. Um, I can only play one card next turn. So I might as well minor extraction for three and the reroll for one. And that goes down to that. Okay. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this. It's, it's, it's a definite guarantee because I don't have enough playable cards to actually rescue enough hostages to do that. Um, okay. So now we're on to the terror phase. Uh, plus two, getting angry. 6K. So we're at the K now. So the next threat increase will cause a hostage to be killed. Lovely. All right, so conversation phase. We're going to play our minor extraction card, and let's go ahead and put these back into the market. Um, I believe there's a two in there somewhere. Three. Put that there. Zero, 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 two. Just a few more minutes, that one there. Okay. All right, going for broke again. Let's see if we can get two successes. And it's, ooh. well, what I could do is I could play what I meant to say was, and then re-roll that. But here's the thing. If I can get the hostage pull emptied, I'd, I have a better chance. So I may want to just take the one success and accept the fact that one of the hostages is going to be killed. Because we've got a plus one threat here on one success. So we're going to rescue one hostage. And one hostage was killed. And uh, we're going to save our re-roll. For the next time. We're out of cards. Um, so that ends that. Um, spend phase. I have no points to spend. But I can recover these zero point cards. Our downfall was not being able to get the momentum to buy some of these. Like the highest conversation that I ever got was four. Uh, some of these other cards like five and six, uh, eight and seven... They allow you to eliminate the abductor, to rescue a ton of hostages, but I never got there. That's the problem. I never got enough momentum to actually get any of that stuff. The first four rounds were a complete wash uh, because of the dice rolling involved. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and do this one at a time. Um, because this is the last... Oh, we have to do our um, terror phase. This is it. For the remainder of the game, you always roll at least... W um, you always roll at least one die. Oh, minus one die. Okay, so basically I am down to one die for the remainder of the game. <laughs> so I can never ever get two successes now. <laughs> now, during this last turn of the game, we are allowed to spend conversation points while we're playing cards and rolling dice to help us out. Because this is the last ditch effort. After this, we lose if we don't if we don't do our thing. So we need to, I mean, there's no way to win, but we'll resolve it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and do small talk just to try and get these conversation points. Uh, you know, actually, let's do keep cool. Uh, no, can't. There's no point. Minus one threat. Now, I, what I could try to do is lower the threat. No, forget it. Just try, I'm gonna, we're going to go for those conversation points. Um, if we... All right, this is game over. I'm going to go ahead and play this um, re-roll. And if we don't get anything here, this is it. Because the conversation will be over. Nope, that's it. So we failed. Um, we rescued a total of three hostages. Um, the rest are just... That's it. The, ho the abductor wins. This is an incredibly difficult, infuriating game. Because the dice are stacked against you. Like I said, three sides are blank. The fourth side is a failure, but you could spend two cards, and then five and six are su successes. This is a heavily uh, RNG kind of game. If you don't like RNG, you're not going to like this. But um, it's, a, it's a neat little solitaire game to play when you're kind of on your own and you don't have anyone else to play with. Uh, or if it's like, you know, if you're three o'clock in the morning, you've got insomnia. Um, and if you find this person too easy for whatever reason, let's say you don't like the fact that she only starts off with one demand. Now, I what I could have done here... You know, instead of ending the game, I could have done this minor demand. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Um, we're going to... Um, what, what did I play here? It was this card. So I, I, can, I can concede the demand. 
uh, to ignore one speech bubble, but that means I have to remove this from the entire game. So I'm actually still in the game. <laughs> it's not going to be for long. Let's play this one and just, uh, what did I get? Nope. Okay. I, I tried. I really did. remove. Yep. So that's, that's it. All right. So that would, that demand is met. A conceded demands goes here. All right. So uh, there you go, folks. Um, that was a quick look at Hostage Negotiator. Again, this is a tabletop game. Um, you can find this on digital for free on hostage or on tabletop simulator. Just be warned, it's heavily RNG. It's difficult. You're going to lose probably. But if the dice are on your side, then you may want to give this a go and uh, we'll give it a go anyway. It's, it's quite fun. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.